hello friends ensure that you have defined all the items as per my previous video all the seven items to proceed further the next task is to enter financial information so basically we are taking a situation where the company is already started and the total shareholder funds which was invested was rupees 10 lakh rupees out of which this three item product pd lt and dt we had some invent inventory so some money was invested here in terms of maintaining a stock 22 items at the 5600 rupees total amount is this five piece of 24000 1 lakh 20000 14 quantity 19000 rupees 2 lakh 66 the total is 5 lakh 9200 rupees out of 10 lakh 5 lakh 9200 rupees has been used in maintaining a inventory for this three item and the remaining 4 lakh 90800 rupees was kept in icic bank so now we are to enter this three financial transaction that's a uh, infusing of the capital in the bank account second and third one is stock of this much so for that <clears throat> go to uh, account or you can go to the e account in the account we are going to maintain three journal and two journal entry and one stock entry so click on journal entry ensure that this filters have been cleaned create a new journal entry so we are saying posting date is today's date you can give it any other post date past date also accounting entry is here click uh, we want to enter first one as shareholder fund so type share holders funds and the amount is 10 lakh the next is a double entry system so we need two entry one on credit side on other on debit side or vice versa the this 10 lakh rupees temporarily we are keeping in a temporary opening so put as temporary opening and it's going to take 10 lakh rupees in the debit so both has been match now since there's opening entry there's no transaction so in the more information here at the bottom of the screen there's the option called is opening so declare it as a yes i repeat this is not a transaction it's an opening entry for this company so in the more information is opening select yes and then click on save so this is the first financial transaction entry we have made it says draft yes if everything is okay click submit permanently submit accounting this journal entry yes now it has been saved uh, to just check you can go to accounting and charts of account and click here refresh and you can see now 10 crore 10 lakh rupees has been come here as a liability 10 lakh rupees to the shareholders and in the assets as a temporary opening account now the next task is to enter detail about the bank account so go to once again go to the account and click on journal entry click on new now this time it's going to be ICICI bank so we are saying <clears throat> in ICICI bank we have used this fund so from the company it has gone to the ICIC bank so that's why it's going to be debit entry of 4 lakh 90,800 rupees and this debit we are going to make to temporary account so the flow is something like this 10 lakh rupees we got from shareholder and we spend in a temporary account which is as a, actually a, uh, a notional account or a, a virtual account no transaction has been made no expense has been made but we just kept the money there 
Now, from the temporary opening account, we had a 10 lakh rupees. From that, that we used 4 lakh 90 thousand to keep it into ICIC bank, and rest is still available in temporary opening account. Please do remember to go to more information and ease opening. Select yes. And then click on save. This will be saved as a draft. Click on submit. It says permanently submit this. They say yes. No, that entry has also been saved. If you want to see <coughs> the balance sheet as on today, we can go to the balance sheet. Report balance sheet. Take some time. Now you can see here the bank account four lakh ninety thousand rupees temporary opening five lakh nine thousand source of fund shareholder fund ten lakh rupees so this ten lakh rupees has been used four lakh nine thousand in bank and temporary opening five lakh nine thousand. Now we want to make entry for this stock item and that's called stock reconciliation. So go to the E, go to stock. In the stock, you'll find an option called stock reconciliation. So basically what we are saying reconciliation means physically uh, the item were available and we are reporting it. So we are going to create a new stock reconciliation. Default stock adjustment account in company Dinesh BP. Please set default stock adjustment account in company. Okay. I think it's only message. So we have a product PD 22 number at 5600. So select PD from here. Default warehouse is finished goods store. The quantity is 22 and date is 5600. Next item is LT 5 pieces 24,000. LT from unfinished goods, this inventory will be kept. The 5 pieces at 24,000. And product DT 14 items quantity at 19,000 rate. Finished goods. 14 numbers at 19,000 rupees. That's all. Difference of uh, here, all this amount should be adjusted against the temporary opening. So select difference of account as temporary opening. So here select temporary opening. So what will we, it will do? All the amount which has been uh, uh, blocked in this inventory will be adjusted against temporary opening where we still have a around 5 lakh 9200 rupees available and click on save the draft click on submit yes now it has been saved now at this stage please set account in warehouse all warehouses or default inventory account okay so it's not allowing me to submit because saying to make some adjustment into the account in warehouse all warehouse DPP or default inventory account in company Dinesh BP. So in company Dinesh BP I have to set a default inventory account. Let me go to the company list. This was the company what I have set up and in that the default warehouse I have to locate. Yeah, default warehouse for sales. I'll say finished goods stores. Anywhere else, if I want to say default warehouse. So that has been saved. Let me go back to my stock entry, stock reconciliation, and this is a still in draft stage. 
let me try to submit it now oh still not so let me stop the video here